So the question is, how does a mousetrap car work? Well, first we must understand the mousetrap. It has many parts. This would be the striker arm. It's a piece of copper that runs through this spring here that is wound tightly so that it powers it. This would be the release pin, and this would be the uh, bait plate, or the trigger, as you will. In order to set a mousetrap, we must first start by looking at it in its already snapped form. Right now, the striker arm would be near the bait, where the mouse's head may be gently massaged, where the mouse would fall asleep. To set the mousetrap, you would rotate the striker arm throughout the through the arc of motion, and then this release pin would in turn rotate over top of it, and is hooked into the trigger plate. When something um, irritates the trigger plate, the pin the pin is released, and the releasing of that pin causes the striker arm to rotate forward in a very swift manner. Now let's investigate the car itself. You will notice we can ignore the pin at this point. That as the striker arm moves, it moves through an arc of motion. We will utilize that arc of motion by tying a string to the striker arm. As the striker arm rotates, the string would then be pulled through the arc of motion. This pulling of the string tugs on the string. As the string is being tugged by the striker arm, you'll notice that the spring that the string moves. On to our next idea. How the string works. The string, here is indicated as the pink lines, is wrapped around a an axle. Uh, this would probably, in most cases, be a wooden dowel of some nature. You'll notice that as you pull on the string to the left, the dowel rotates as you pull upon the string. Well, that dowel we will hook to some wheels of some nature. And since you're pulling on the string, which I've now colored green, as you're pulling on the string, not only does the dowel rotate, but the dowel is appropriately attached to both wheels. Now let's examine this wheel from the side view. As we pull on the string, the wheels also rotate. As the string is pulled and pulled, it rotates. This rotation is what makes the car move. So in short, as you pull on the striker arm, the string tugs, the tugging of the string spins the wheels. And that is how your mousetrap car works.